In this video, let's take a look at how to calculate sample sizes when you're working with proportions. In this example, we're going to calculate the sample size that we need to estimate the true proportion of American households that still have a telephone landline with 90% confidence and an error of plus or minus 0.02. So in this case, our calculation for sample size changes slightly because we're dealing with proportions. So our value for pi is the proportion that we're solving for. And in this case, we're going to set it equal initially to a value of 0.5 so that we can use our calculations. Our value for z is going to be 1.645 because we're looking at a 90% confidence. And then our allowable error is going to be our plus or minus 0.02 because that's our allowable error that's been given to us. Our value for our sample size then will be calculated as our z value, which was in cell B12, divided by our allowable error, our e value, which is in cell B13, squared multiplied by our value for pi that we're going to hold constant as 0.5 multiplied, one mi multiplied by 1 minus pi. And then we're going to round up in this equation to make sure that we're definitely meeting our 90% confidence interval. And we're going to round up, and here with our number of digits, then we set equal to zero, so it rounds up to the next whole number. So in this example, we need 1,692 samples to make sure that we have that 90% confidence. It's always important that we round up. Even if the number was 1,691.3, we would still want to round up to make sure we reach that level of 90% confidence. If we didn't round up, we would be just shy of that 90% confidence that we're looking for.